ছাত্রদের কথা ভেবে ছাত্রদের ভবিষ্যতের কথা ভেবে বাডওয়ান মডার্ন স্কুল শুরু করতে চলেছে অনলাইনে ই লার্নিং ক্লাস এই অনলাইন ক্লাস শুরু হচ্ছে চোদ্দোই এপ্রিল সকাল নটা থেকে প্রতিদিন সকাল নটায় ক্লাস টেন থেকে টুয়েলভের ছাত্রছাত্রীদের এই অনলাইন ক্লাস চলবে আনন্দ বার্তা নিউজ চ্যানেল আনন্দ বার্তা ফেসবুক এবং আনন্দ বার্তার ইউটিউব চ্যানেলে তাই বাডওয়ান মডেল স্কুলের সকল ছাত্রছাত্রীকে চোদ্দোই এপ্রিল সকাল নটা থেকে এই অনলাইন ই লার্নিং ক্লাস অ্যাটেন্ড করার জন্য আবেদন জানানো হচ্ছে গুড মর্নিং মাই ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস অ্যান্ড ওয়েলকাম ইউ টু মাই অনলাইন ক্লাসেস উইথ আনন্দ বার্তা অ্যান্ড উই উইল স্টার্ট টুডে টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু টেক দ্য ক্লাস অফ ক্লাস টুয়েলভ হিস্ট্রি অ্যান্ড আই ওয়েলকাম টু অল মাই ক্লাস টুয়েলভ স্টুডেন্টস ইন দেয়ার নিউ ক্লাসেস বাট উই নো দ্যাট ইন দিস প্যান্ডেমিক সিচুয়েশন উই ক্যানট come to school we cannot have the classes we cannot have the interactions i miss it really but we don't have any option so here with our school badwan model school and anand bhatta we are starting the online classes hope i will be able to make you understand the topics so let's start from the cbsc guidelines or the cbsc website you can get the syllabus of class 12 and if you have got one you know the first topic of your syllabus is the topic with the name bricks beads and bones this is a topic which deals with one of the earliest or one of the oldest civilization of world and interestingly this civilization lies in india that is the harappan civilization or that is the indus valley civilization so today's topic is Harappan civilization so before we start and go detail into the topic we have to understand few points that is first of all as a student of history you have to understand that historians they talk or they reconstruct the history with several sources sources are those points which help us to understand to reconstruct the total history okay so there are different types of sources which helps to reconstruct right the number one source is archaeological sources i repeat the number one source is archaeological source what is that anything which is built over the earth be it a monument be it a building be it a palace be it a tomb anything can be an archaeological source okay like any pottery like taj mahal like the red fort or even the pyramids of egypt can be archaeological sources then the next is definitely the literary source that means the literature where people from around the world from everywhere have written something in the book in the pages in the stones in the temple walls wherever which is written is known as literary source i repeat literary source then next is definitely very interesting inscriptions inscriptions are those writings which is written by definitely by the kings or by the rulers on temple walls then rocks 
and some of the gateways. This is known as inscriptions and last but not the least is coins that is numismatics. I repeat coins and the study of coins known as numismatics. So, from coins also we can understand the history of a particular period. Now, you can ask yourself that why while talking about Harappan civilization I am referring to these sources because the Harappan civilization the time period is Two thousand six hundred BCE. That means from today it is at least four thousand years ago. So, definitely you and me was not present that time. We have not seen how the Harappan people used to live. We do not even know anybody or any person who lived then and is also present in today's world. We do not have any family member who lived in Harappan civilization and still he or she is sharing his life with us. right? So, we have to understand the history of Harappan civilization from these sources and fortunately or unfortunately the literary uh, sources then the coins and the epigraphy or the inscriptions are not available for Harappan civilization. Why? Because till now the Harappan script, the Harappan writing style has not been deciphered. Nobody could understand what those people have written. I hope that maybe one day you will be among one of them who can understand those writings and will revolution in the history of Harappa, right? Okay. Now, let us come into the detail of the chapter. If you open your books, if those who have it definitely, otherwise you can download the PDF books, PDF uh, books are available online. You can download that in your mobiles or in your laptops and you can see that. The first topic which is there is the beginning. Absolutely, it is very important to understand the beginning of a civilization. The Harappan civilization was divided into two parts. One is a mature part and another is a late part. The mature part of the civilization started from 2600 BCE and the later part started much after. So, we were not present in that particular time period. We have not seen the mature period, we have not seen the late period. We were not there. So, it is very very difficult to concentrate, to reconstruct the history of the mature and late period of Harappan civilization. Now, first of all we have to understand that the people of Harappa, what they used to eat, how they used to live their lives. It can be understood from the, it can be understood from the sources that the early Harappan people, they have, hello. Sorry? Okay. Okay. 
okay it's informed uh, sir the board asked okay fine so sorry for the interruption so next time again we will start from the beginning that we have to understand that what is the theory to understand what those people are or what those people were eating how they used to live their life and how they used to go on okay so now to understand the strategies to understand the eating procedure we have seen with the help of archaeobotanists the archaeobotanist have suggested some methods and they have gave the confirmed news that the people in the harappan civilization have used several um botanical grains and those things were available in harappa like they used to have wheat they used to have barley they used to have lentils chickpea sesame and many more things so all these grains were grown in harappan civilization not only this the archaeozoologists have confirmed that the harappan civilization used to take different type of meat that means animal proteins they used to take chickens they used to have fish because bone structures or the bones of fish or chickens have been found in harappan sites so you can understand that it is very very difficult to understand what those people used to do and how they used to live their life now when i have told you that these harappan people they used to have different grains that means they used to grow those grains because it's not a gift it's not a magic that from the sky suddenly the grains are coming right so what happens so these people these harappan people they used to grow these kind of grains how do we understand it's a very natural question which you can ask about which you can think the answer is from many different items the archaeologists the scholars have confirmed it like in different terracotta models we have found from harappa a model specifically about a bull and you know that till today as india is an agricultural country bull is used extensively for agricultural purpose so as the structure the model of bull was present in harappan society we can understand that the bull was really used another example archaeologists have found a model play play way game or a model of a plow plow you know why it is used the plow is used for plowing the agricultural land so when a model plow is found when a small piece of playing game of a uh, plow has been found you can understand that definitely the actual plow was used not only that the harappan civilization its location is in the today scenario is mostly in pakistan and in the north western part of india so the area you know is semi arid and they doesn't have regular rainfall so in some places you can see the evidence of irrigation that means wells canals everything was there which helped in irrigation so that is very important 
that irrigation canal was there which means agriculture was extensively used in Harappan culture or Harappan civilization. Another very interesting uh, clue was there that there was a model of a bullock cart. You know bullock cart, why it is used? Definitely it is used to carry something. So, we can understand that these Harappan people, they were maybe different from us, but not so different, right. So, that is the reason they use the bullock carts to carry the grains from one place to another, right. So, I hope that you have understood that why or how we can say that agriculture was practiced in Harappan civilization. Now, we come to the next part that is the main structure of the civilization. When we talk about the Harappan civilization, we come across with two names very important one Mohenjo-daro and two Harappa. These two are the most important sites of the whole civilization. Mohenjo-daro is the best excavated and most important, but Harappa was the first city to be excavated for the civilization. The whole civilization depended on these two cities. Okay? And Mohanjodaro, there is a name, the name had a meaning. What is the meaning of the word Mohanjodaro? It is the meaning mound of dead. Why? Because a long time after the civilization was end, after the end of the civilization, when people started living in the same place, they have found many human bones, skull structures and they were afraid. They thought that it is something ghostly, something very uh, fishy have been done there. So, they have named the place as Mohenjo-daro and as I told you that Mohenjo-daro is the best excavated center of the whole civilization. We will go in detail um, explanation of this city. When we talk about different civilization of this period, one is there in India that is Harappan civilization, the other one is in Mesopotamia, the Mesopotamian civilization, the another one was there in Egypt, the Egyptian civilization. But this Harappan civilization was the most unique. Why? Because it is or it was the only civilization which was a city civilization. It had an urban culture, it had an urban face. So, that was the uniqueness of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro cities. So, we will go detail into Mohenjo-daro first. In both of the cities or in most of the cities of Harappan civilization, the cities were divided into two parts. I repeat the cities were divided into two parts, one is citadel and second one is the lower town. What is a citadel and what is a lower town? Citadel is a smaller place. It is a smaller place, but higher. 
it is small but high lower town from the name we can understand it is not high it is low and larger so it is small and high and this is large and low now what is it why this high and low was there because in citadel the houses the buildings or whatever it was made it was made upon a brick platform and in lower town this platform was not there it was on the ground it was built so you can understand that this is higher this is lower why small and why large it is also the assumption of the scholars that maybe maybe the citadel was the place where the socially higher rank people used to live that means rulers nobles priests prince princesses traders they used to live in citadel that is why as their social status was higher they used to live in a higher position and in lower town anybody any common man peasant small traders shopkeepers uh, uh, normal common people they used to live that is why they used to build on this platform both of the section both of the division were walled that means it was protected but there was no restrictions for going into each of them everyone from every social section used to go from this to that okay understood so this is very important that how they have gone inside or how they have went outside okay now the next part which is very important is now inside the two sections we will go into detail first of all we we will go into the detail of these two parts when we enter either citadel or lower town we will find roads buildings houses everything and when we see all these things one of the most important feature which we can see is its drains in harappan civilization imagine from today 4600 years ago the drains were made it was made first then the roads were made then the buildings just imagine how modern they were till today we have to give advertisement government advertisement to use proper drainage system to have a proper drainage we have to give advertisement in the rural areas we don't see any proper drainage and sanitation system but in harappan civilization 4600 years ago the drains were made the drains were made in a grid pattern what is a grid pattern the grid pattern is a simple grid where everyone every corner is 90 degree right so how the drains were planned how the drains were built first of all as i am showing the grid pattern was made right then the 
roads the were made so this is the drain and this is the road so you can understand that drains and roads were made okay so then when the roads and the drains were made then after that houses were built but every house had a link with the drains that means every house had a wall against the roadside and their domestic water used to flow in the street drains just imagine the sanitation and in the drains also the drains were made of brick that means there was no sewage or no uh, kind of bacteria they can form and mostly the drains were covered the drains were covered so no bad smell no mosquitoes no other insects could come out and there were openings that means like today we have the manhole uh, pro propositions like that the drains could be opened washed cleaned and then again reuse this is very very unique it cannot be seen in any part of the world at that point of time you can imagine in today's world also right wherever we live during the time of uh, rainy season during the time of monsoon our drains they collapse they can't do the proper sanitation because it's not clean cleaned nobody comes to clean it right so that is very very unique and very important to keep in mind about the harappan civilization maybe they are or they were 4600 years old but they were very very modern so this is the one of the unique feature right now we will talk about the domestic architecture of the civilization the domestic how the houses were built how the systems were there in the lower town of mohenjodaro we can see many residential areas most of the house were built by bricks some were one storied some were double storied and what happened that all these houses had a same structure what was the structure like the structure was if you follow kind of this i'm not very good at drawing but still i'm trying to show you in the middle of every house there was a court yard where all domestic works were done like cooking sewing talking uh, grains sorting everything was done in the courtyard surrounding the courtyard rooms were there the rooms had a proper gateway they were gone through the doors and they didn't have any windows in the ground floor why they didn't have any windows in the ground floor because the harappan people were very very private very private they were very cautious about their private life they never wanted that somebody can see their private activities in some of the houses the scholars have noticed a flight of stairs that means the house was two storied or double storied 
So, this is the stairs and these are the rooms. So, double stairs, uh, double story rooms that means the stairs were used for that. In the double story, the windows were used, the windows were there. Each and every house had a bathroom and this bathroom was linked with the street drains. Imagine every house had a bathroom, very interesting. Most of the houses they had a well, most of the houses they had a well and water was taken from this well. This is the entrance, this is the entrance and there was a room. Why the entrance is here, where the rooms are here, the courtyard is here, remember I told you that the Harappan people were very, very private. So, they made their entrance in such a way that nobody could enter from in this manner where they can see the household work. That means, when you open the door for a stranger, that stranger is not able to see what is going on inside the house. See how private they were, how conscious they were and here you can see that I have mentioned about a room that is known as guest room. In those days, we are talking about 2600 BCE, that time travellers were there, traders were there, but hotels were not there. Like today, if we travel to Kolkata or to Delhi or to Mumbai, we can just book a hotel, go and rest there. But during the time of Harappan civilization, that provision was not there. So, if night comes, where the guest or where the traders, where the businessmen will rest? They used to rest in some of the houses and they used to rest in this guest room. Can you imagine? The guest room is not also inside the actual premises of the domestic architecture because the guest who is staying there is also a stranger. A man comes and knocks your door at night and says that I am a traveller, it is very night till it is midnight, I do not have a place to go, so please allow me to stay here and you are opening the guest room and if that man is a dangerous man or a decoit or a robber, then what will happen? So, you give that person a room, but do not allow that person to enter to your house. That person can stay here, you close your entrance, that person cannot enter to your own house, right. So, you can see that the Harappan people were also very, very interesting about their architecture, the planning structure, their privacy their private life was very interesting and they were very, very uh, happy with these kind of thing. Okay. Now, we will see the next part of a town that is that is the citadel. Citadel now till now we have, we have, just a minute, it is live with you, okay. 
the citadel is the other part now citadel i told you that it is the part where the people who are in the upper section or in the higher society they are living there so now we will talk about the citadel citadel is the place where we can find the evidence of public places public places what is a public place in today's world public place is a cinema hall is a park uh, science centers museums shopping malls these are all private not private sorry it's a public sector where everyone can go they can enjoy do whatever they want right so in citadel very very careful in citadel we can find the places for public structures the very important two two very important public structures have been found one is a warehouse what is a warehouse warehouse is like a modern day go down warehouse is a go down where the surplus food or the surplus grains were stored okay the surplus grains were stored and it was stored for a emergency period like now we are all shut uh, we are all um, going through the pandemic situation and in this lockdown situation we are not able to go out and shop things and you know that in rural areas the government is responsible for delivering the material right so like that like that in harappan civilization the warehouse was used okay another very important structure was there which is a public structure of course that is the great bath what is a great bath great bath is a rectangular tank water tank it is like today's modern days swimming pool so this is a tank it is filled with water it is made with bricks it had corridors it had corridors and it has been walled so nobody can see it like swimming pools are always very much protected areas it had two flights of stairs in the north sorry in the north and in the south because this is the north north and the south there are two flight of stairs through which you can go deep inside the water then in the corridors you have four at each rooms that means after you have a bath after you swim then you can come and change your clothes okay this water tank as i told it is filled with water is linked with a drain after the use the water was cleaned and changed and outside the wall there are bathrooms which you can use so you can understand that these people were very very uh, modern they had their ideas how to build structures how to have a private life how to enjoy a public life and mostly this great bath was used for a ritual bath means before you go for worshiping you go bath yourself and do the puja or worship or whatever okay so this is what we have at the first beginning and the introduction class of this topic okay so i will expect my students to follow the next part of this chapter in my next class online thank you
করোনার জেরে লকডাউন আর এই লকডাউনের জেরে বন্ধ সমস্ত স্কুল কলেজ সহ শিক্ষা প্রতিষ্ঠান ছাত্রদের কথা ভেবে ছাত্রদের ভবিষ্যতের কথা ভেবে বাডওয়ান মডেল স্কুল শুরু করতে চলেছে অনলাইনে ই লার্নিং ক্লাস এই অনলাইন ক্লাস শুরু হচ্ছে চোদ্দই এপ্রিল সকাল নটা থেকে প্রতিদিন সকাল নটায় ক্লাস টেন থেকে টুয়েলভের ছাত্রছাত্রীদের এই অনলাইন ক্লাস চলবে আনন্দ বার্তা নিউজ চ্যানেল আনন্দ বার্তা ফেসবুক এবং আনন্দ বার্তার ইউটিউব চ্যানেলে তাই বাডওয়ান মডেল স্কুলে সকল ছাত্র ছাত্রীকে চোদ্দই এপ্রিল সকাল নটা থেকে এই অনলাইন ই লার্নিং ক্লাস অ্যাটেন্ড করার জন্য আবেদন জানানো হচ্ছে